What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now, today, dude, come on, man. All the bears have been wrecked. They've been wrecked. They were they were saying, "Come on, we got to hit 53k." Um, I haven't seen anything until we hit 53k. Even I was saying this because 53k was absolutely the level that we had to break from robert art right here he shows that we were in the exact setup as 2017 right and we needed to break this right here this third circle needed to get above the second circle right there and we did do that last night bitcoin got up to at the highest it was fifty five thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars bitcoin is now a trillion dollar asset once again it has passed the trillion dollar mark I love where Ethereum's at, at 422 uh, billion right there. You guys know I believe Ethereum will be a trillion dollar asset as well. I also believe XRP should be a trillion dollar asset. And I believe that HVAR and QNT should be trillion dollar digital assets as well. That's how bullish I am. And okay, so there we go. We got Bitcoin going crazy. By the way, make sure you smash that like button if you want to get rich in Q4. Hit that like button right now if you want to get rich in Q4 because it's looking like uh, this is what's going to happen. We're going to cover it. We've got XRP news today about how they're going to survive a blackout, a worldwide cyber pandemic. XRP looks like the developers are preparing for something like this, right? We're going to cover that. We're going to cover George Soros moving into crypto, selling his stocks. We're going to cover XYO price predictions today. Because I've seen some suspect stuff coming from XYO or just one thing. We're going to cover all of it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Also, thank you guys for 500,000 followers on TikTok. Maybe some of you don't even know that I have a TikTok. Yeah, I've got half a million on TikTok. So I appreciate everyone there. We did a giveaway of $900 in Solana yesterday. Amazing. All right. So... As we can see, also, I want to point out about HBAR. I looked at the HBAR chart, right? Now, if we look at the HBAR compared to Bitcoin chart, it's kind of vastly different. Let me, let me go to the 4-hour on Bitcoin. 4-hour on Bitcoin looks like this, right? By the way, this, this red period, this red phase is Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm a big fan of astrology, right? I do not base investments on astrology. I do not base investments on astrology. Um, or the moon or anything. I do not base it on that. I base it on real shit and just scroll down the page. You can see that I'm all about the real shit. Um, but I do like to have that on because I'm, I'm, that's just one tool in my tool belt that you don't have because you don't accept it. Astrology is just another layer of analysis, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, sentiment analysis, uh, uh, microeconomic astrology is just another layer that you can't accept but i can therefore i have one extra tool than you if you don't accept it a lot of people do accept it though so here we go right on time with the new moon of course we know that new moons are local tops but let's compare this look it looks like h bar is actually ahead of where uh, where i think bitcoin's going to come down i think bitcoin's going to come down right but i hope that we can actually do something like this you see this right here this level right here, we, we we pump up 43 to 47, and then literally this just went sideways. I hope that we can pump up right here and just go sideways. Hopefully. But H bar looks like it's 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 been in a down a downtrend right here. 38 cents. We're all good on that. If we look at the the visual overview, we see that Shiba Inu is still making people rich out here, man. Uh 218% on the week. So it has had an amazing seven days right here, even better than its month, right? Um, I don't even want to look at this number right here. It's 22 million percent up in a year. I don't even want to know about these things, man. It makes me feel like I missed out because I was just couldn't get over myself and invest in one of these. But no, I will not be going into Shiba. Uh, do whatever you want, man. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, okay. 
Fear and Greed has moved the opposite way, and it has went to 68. And we are greedy now, and we were greedy yesterday. Very interesting right there. We have XRP at 111, um, and the sixth position right here. I, I do like to see it at 111. That's a good... Uh, we're do we just been holding above a dollar. I love it. HBAR, we already covered. Quant, still at 301 right here. I think Quant will have a good Q4. I think it'll get to above $500 in Q4. Hedera Hashgraph, let me tell you something. If this makes another run at all-time high, right? If this makes another run at all-time high, you better be taking some profits. You better be taking some profits. If this makes another run at all-time high, like if this climbs back to like 50 cents, take profits, in my opinion, right? That's just my opinion. No financial advice. 13 cents XDC. If we look at this chart, Robert Art has been putting out some gold here. He says October, November, December in the 2017 bull market. Look at this. 47% <clears throat> was, was October. 54% was November. And 39% was December in 2017. I think we are headed for a great Q4, man. And you got to pay attention. I wouldn't be selling anything massive until like Christmas, right? Just like do the ladder sell thing, man. Sell 5%, sell another 5%, sell a 5%, sell a 10% as we go. And you guys will be knowing what I'm doing, right? Like you'll be knowing. Uh, I'll be on the videos telling y'all what I do. Because if you watch these daily updates every day, you're 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 right on the timeline, man. I am presenting a timeline with different narratives such as this one, Okay. So XRPL Labs, which is the XRP Ledger Labs, right? Proudly showing off XPOP. What is this? XPOP? No, it's not a new pop genre. It is proof of payments, okay? And this Richard dude presented this. And what this does, XPOP generates an animated QR containing everything needed for an offline XRP ledger transaction proof. You heard him right, an offline. Everybody says, what is gonna happen when the internet goes down and you need to send crypto? Well, guess what? We have somebody working on offline transactions. I bet this guy is red-pilled right here. He knows what's up. I bet he knows that we need to focus on some offline payments. I mean, cause the XRP people, we can use, like that's cash. Cash is offline, right? Cash is completely offline. Um, wow. I'm reading that right there about Bill Gates. Damn. Okay. Um, but yeah, this this is why XRP is primed to survive a blackout like this. Because they have people considering all of these things. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So they, uh, they can do offline transactions, right? Right here we have Soros, which is... Uh, Hold on, let me remind myself. Soros is the the guy who runs uh, Black Lives Matter or something like this. He he, I don't know what he runs. He runs some kind of big charity thing or something. Open Society, Open Society is what he runs, I think. But yeah, this dude is a complete demon in my opinion, absolute demon. And I'm not just saying that because he's old. I'm saying that because behind those eyes. I don't see anything. I see blackness and, and negative energy. In my opinion, no offense to him, man. No offense to him. I just think he's carrying a lot of demonic energy with him uh, in, in and doing a bunch of weird stuff on this earth. Dude, these dudes are weirdos. Like, Bill Gates, you're a weirdo. Bill Gates, you are a weird m MF. Okay, you're a weird MF. But what this guy's doing... He's getting this this lady who runs the thing for him to speak about what he's doing. So he's selling stocks and he's going into cryptocurrencies. As you can see at the end right here, it says, we own some coins, not a lot, but the coins themselves are less interesting than the use cases of DeFi and things like that. She said, noting that cryptocurrencies have gone mainstream. This is exactly what I've been saying. These, we are mainstream. This is mainstream adoption. Investing is cool right now. Investing is the best thing to do right now. Investing is trending. Like that's the things the kids are doing is trying to invest, right? And it's because of crypto. It's because of Robinhood, Dogecoin, blah, blah, blah. 
So what he's doing, he's not putting money into China. He says putting putting billions of dollars into China now is a tragic mistake. Um, so yeah, interesting, George Soros. Here's the sus stuff from XYL right here. We are on LinkedIn. This is from a week ago. I don't know how I missed this. This is kind of sus um, because I don't like when companies or, or cryptos talk about their price, especially price predictions. And XYO has posted this with a chain jelly. Chain jelly is so nostalgic to me. I used to use that. XYO price prediction for 2021 through 2030. Okay, they've posted this. Like they've shouted out this article which is not even that it, it's it's good but like the price predictions like let's check out the price predictions by the end of 2021 digital coin price <clears throat> says that xyo will be 12 cents gov capital says five cents and wallet investor says five cents by the end of 2021 so that means people are in for basically a <clears throat> either a 6x or a 2x on this right and we are already big x up on this like i got in over here so i'm huge up already right i'm big up on on xyo i could take profit anytime i want um and the, and basically they say six cents seven cents for 2022 nine cents 13 cents 14 cents for 2025 and then 2030 they don't even give one so i don't know why they're shouting this type of article out but that's that's okay I mean, I'm still bullish on XYO. It's it's pretty solid, man. It's pretty solid. This this thing will probably get into the top 100 or top 120 um, if it has not already been there. I think it's been maybe close to that. But yeah, this this is a decent coin. I mean, we've been in this for a long time, so you're already in profit. As for buying this now, I would just wait till a bear market, dude, because this is like very ahead. Or you could buy now. Like this is about half of its market cap. You could buy now if you wanted, but I'm not recommending anything. That's I'm just chilling on my XYO, man. Fat ALBT puts this. I just wanted to put this for fun. <laughs> Look, the regulator uh, genuinely believes securities laws are clear. I'm not going to get into any one token, but I think the security laws are quite clear. Has a nine-figure net worth, wants you to stay poor. He has a nine-figure net worth. I don't believe that. Talks a lot, but never really says anything. Yep. That's Gary Gensler, bro. But that is all we've got for today, man. There's not much news coming out. Bitcoin is the star of the show, making uh, waves, right? Shiba Inu is also the star of the show. That's all we got. I appreciate everyone. Make sure you follow on Twitter. My Instagram is right here. Join the Telegram. And goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>